Madison County could vote to make a huge change tomorrow with its alcohol sales. It's a decision that hasn't been brought up since the Prohibition era. Daniel Miskell tells us how Madison County residents are feeling ahead of primary day. We're all for making it a wet county, and I think it would really bring us more business. Because I think a lot of businesses have not come into this area because of the it being a dry county, so I think that'll help. Lori McGregor works at Doe Daddy's, a bakery inside this Amco station. The novelty shop could soon have one more item to pair with its donuts. Okay. While signs all over the county okay. show strong support for pushing alcohol sales out to rural parts, there are those that believe Madison County should stay dry. I think people, uh, there's a lot of people that are just like things the way they are. They say you can go to Lexington and get whatever you want, or you can come to Richmond and get whatever you want. Charlie uh, Hamilton, like owner of Dreaming Creek Brewery, has been very open about pushing the county to switch. His business associate, Wesley Brown, who owns Apollo Pizza, started the petition that led to this vote. It's been an uphill battle. To get enough signatures was an uphill battle. It was kind of surprising that that was the case. Uh, we got enough barely uh, to get it on the vote. Hamilton says Kentuckians can buy alcohol just about anywhere outside of Madison County any day of the week. I think we're behind. Uh, you can't do that in Madison County, only in Richmond City proper. And there are missed opportunities. My understanding is Kroger's will not build a Kroger store anymore if they can't sell alcohol there. Uh, so that's, that's one of the reasons there is no Kroger's in Berea. He, along with other bar owners, uh, such as Chuck Fields of Richmond Pub Paddy Wagons, believes that the rural areas deserve the same opportunities they have inside the city. Kentucky, a lot of their laws are so archaic, you know, uh, all the way back, remnants of prohibition, uh, the Sunday closings, the blue, the blue laws, and, and so forth. And uh, I think, again, the pandemic, when they relaxed a lot of these rules and regulations, it shows that problems didn't emerge that we thought would happen over the decades, over the years. 